Hey guys, here are three basic body weight based exercises to get your posterior chain activated before your next workout. We're gonna work through all three in one shot. I'm gonna leave some commentary as we go and then uh, I'll leave some rep ranges and set recommendations towards the end. So the first exercise we're gonna go through is the reverse tabletop. Then we're gonna transition into a high glute bridge, a tabletop variation, but we're gonna add some thoracic rotation and we're gonna finish with animal flows crab reach, which is more of a diagonal pattern, but still getting that uh, high hip bridge, glute activation, length through the anterior body. So here's the reverse tabletop. We're gonna set up with legs straight out in front of the body. Uh, heels are going to be shoulder width apart. Hands are gonna be just off the glutes, maybe just outside of the glutes as well. So this is your start position, and the start position with the reverse tabletop is similar for the other two. So you're gonna end up coming back to this general position after each reset. So here's what it's gonna look like. High tabletop, I'm gonna drive through the heels, I'm gonna rotate that pelvis posterior, I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheeks, okay? Get your butt involved, get the hips high, don't let the chest flare. Keep the ribs tucked in, head back, jaw relaxed, come back through. So every repetition, remind yourself of those cues. Drag those hips up, keep those ribs tucked in. Next exercise is gonna be the high loop bridge with thoracic rotation. So I'm gonna reach across my body. I like to squeeze my fist and really actively rotate that thoracic spine. Reach across, squeeze, rotate. So when you're at the top of this bridge, lock your hips in, try to make all that rotation come from your mid back. I know there's gonna be a little compensation. It's not gonna be completely isolated. But keep your intentions for the rotation to come from the mid back, the thoracic area. All right, last exercise, animal flows crab reach. Favorite of mine. Come up diagonal, cut the body in half from hip to shoulder. Reach over the supporting shoulder, breathe. Drive through the heels. Reset, up and over. Drive through the heels. Get that posterior chain activation going. Squeeze, lengthen your anterior body and come back down. So as far as sets and reps, I like to work this again in my warm-ups before my lift or in a flow workout, but if I was doing this before a lift, I would typically work through all three of those for three sets. I would go north of 15 repetitions for higher volume, and I would just keep moving. Don't stop in between. It's not a real demanding exercise. We're just trying to get that close to your chain awake and ready for the work that's to come. Give it a shot.